Hi, I'm Mary Mashrafa, I'm 26 and I'm from Slough. I want to be a combat medical technician. This journey is personal for me as my friends were injured in Afghanistan. I want to join up to help soldiers in the front lines and to develop myself on a professional level. It's a tough job but I'm ready for the challenge. On CB Street, I currently hold down two jobs to make a living. I enjoy working in the restaurant. I get to meet new people and there's job satisfaction. The tips are also good. But I've wanted to join the army for a while because this journey is personal for me. Three of my friends were caught in an IED blast in Helmand province in January 2011. It's meant that I've really found the motivation to join the army and to help others. I think initially it was just shock. Um, shock that not only one person, but three people that I know, that I've known for a long time, um, you know, were all caught in the same blast at the same time. And, and after that, you know, finding out what the extent of their injuries were, it was then, it's just worry. It's just nothing but worry as it is f for anyone in that, that situation. And, you know, you, you, want to do, you want to help, you want to be involved, but, you know, they're already under the best care that they can be when they come back to England. Speaking to Kenne, I get to hear firsthand what it was like been to Afghanistan twice, first time. Um, I was excited to go there, uh, but it was it was a good tour and it was a bad tour at the same time. Why was it a bad tour? Sadly, I lost two of my best mates out there. Uh, that's just one thing you've got to keep in the back of your mind, there's a possibility. Uh, but with the rest of your mates there, you'll, you know, you'll pull through. And your second tour? Second tour, um, the beginning was uh, okay, and then it got a little bit interesting. Uh, in January, uh, sadly I got in, uh, as you know, I hit a bomb. So last year you, Scotty and Jay were all caught in an IED blast. Um, obviously it must have been awful, but what was it actually like to go through something like that? An experience, uh, I probably wouldn't want to do it again, but it was an experience. Um, it was more like a slideshow, it really was. Um, I just remember bits of it. Were you scared? Um, no. So what was it like when the medics first attended to you? Do they talk to you all the time and reassure you or do they get straight down to business and make sure that you're all right? I was airlifted straight away, or well, not straight away, it was probably about 15 minutes to Bastion. Right. Uh, the golden hour as you call it. Uh, I was sent to Bastion where the medics treated me there. And you were in Bastion for a long time or did you immediately, were you then taken out to a British uh, hospital? Within 24 hours of actually getting blown up, I was in Birmingham. And do they stay with you from on the ground to when you get back to Bastion? No, the medic will stay on the ground. Um, a helicopter comes out with other medics on. Uh, on that helicopter, you've got doctors and all sorts on that helicopter. It's probably the best ambulance you'll probably get in the world. Uh, and then they take over from you. My friend is very brave. So too are all those who joined to go and tour in Afghanistan. I want to go on tour too. The journey to join the Army began in Slough. I visited the Army Careers Office and spoke to a careers advisor about my future plans. The NCOs here were helpful and friendly. I got all the information I felt I needed to make an informed decision about my future. Once I felt confident that being a combat medic was really for me, it was on to the next stage, to prepare for recruitment tests which will test my basic numeracy, literacy and reasoning skills. We are particularly interested in uh, the individual's commitment, their effort, their suitability and their attainment. I pretty much want to know that that person wants this type of kind of work, this type of vocation, and they're prepared to put that effort in to be able to achieve it. Pretty much it's down to the individual themselves about their own drive and determination. We encourage them to go to the gym, we encourage them to go out running, to pretty much build up their sort of physical activity themselves. We give them targets, we give them a fitness programme which we provide at the office and pretty much encourage them to, to, to develop as best they can. What we can't do is physically take them by the hand and run them through the park. Clearly um, the, the calibre of candidates within Slough is very high, um, as they are across all offices, um, but in particular we're looking for attributes such as courage, integrity, honesty, determination to succeed. All of these things are really important in terms of being successful with a military career. The next stage for me is to start preparing for my recruitment tests. These shouldn't be too difficult because I did well at college. After that it's the medical. So there's still lots to do before I can get to selection.
but I've taken the first steps and I'm excited about what the future holds for me. There's always going to be an element of fear with it, I think. I think if you don't have an element of fear, then something's not right, um, because it is dangerous out there. We're all aware of that. We see it on the news all the time. Um, so it is definitely something that you have to be scared of, but it's not something that's a barrier for me. It probably pushes me more to want to do it, to overcome something like that and get out there and, and really make a difference.